Hello and welcome back to Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today we will be making Grandma's Easy Apple Pie Recipe with store-bought crust. Mmm-mmm. -mm. Here is a list of the ingredients you will need to make this recipe. Please pause the video to make note. All right, first off, we're gonna put some butter in a hot pan and melt it down. I like to chop up my stick of butter into smaller pieces. It makes it melt a little bit faster, but you can put the entire stick as a whole into your pan and wait for it to melt. Now we're gonna add in our flour to make a roux. Make sure to keep moving the flour butter mixture as you don't want it to clump up. You want a smooth consistency and you don't want it to burn. The key to letting the flour cook a little bit extra now is that it will get rid of that floury taste. Now we're gonna add in our water, our sugar, and stir, stir, stir. It'll look a little thick at first, but once the sugar starts melting down, as you see here, it'll become a nice liquid. This is going to be the basis of our sauce that will go in with our apples and color the crust. Once it starts boiling, turn down the heat to low and let it simmer as you prepare the rest of the pie. Now I use Kroger's store-bought crust, but it's never big enough for my 9.5 inch round pie pan. So I still like to make sure to spread it out and roll it just a little bit larger so I won't have any issues. Now the one downside about store-bought pie crust is it is a little bit dry, so you gotta be careful not to break it. But the good news is it is pie crust. And like all pie crusts, they're pretty much the same. You just squeeze this little sections that you see the holes and they just come right together. Now we're gonna place this pie crust into our pie dish and try to get all of the air out from underneath it. Now you see that little crack there? Don't worry. We're going to close that right up, just like this. Boom. It's magic. All right. I like it a little rustic. What do you think? Now we're going to mound our cut up apples into this pie crust. You want to have a little bit more of a high peak in the center and let it lower along the sides. Now it's time to cut our trellis. Again, I like to roll this out a little bit, try to maximize the use of this dough. Beautiful. Now, we're just gonna cut these into one inch pieces. I use a pizza cutter. If you don't have one, you can use a knife. Super easy. All right, now we're going to lie four pieces, it's like three and a half pieces actually, one of those small pieces goes at the end, parallel to each other, and then just follow the directions as you see on the screen to create the lattice. Lift up two, place another piece of dough, put them back down, lift up the alternate two, place another piece of dough down, Put them back over, make sure everything nice and straight, and the last one. Now what I like to do is I like to tuck in the edges a little bit, so I'll bring those outside pieces of the lattice in, and then I'll bring the outside of the pie crust and close it together, as you see here.
Now, we're gonna start to pour our sugar mixture over the top. Slowly make sure that you cover as much area as you can and make sure that you get it into those hole spaces as well. That's what's gonna help to coat the apples inside and bring you that wonderful, wonderful cinnamon, sugary, delicious apple pie flavor. Take your time, slowly drizzle that wonderful goodness all over the pie, and it should look something like this. Now we're gonna place our pie in a heated oven on top of a cookie sheet so as not to allow any of those juices to overflow into the bottom of the oven. And after 35 to 45 minutes, we're gonna pull her out and let's take a look. Is she bubbling? Is she cooked all the way through? Are your apples done? Oh yeah, take a look at this. Caramel -y goodness. You see those bubbles there? Don't worry, that's just from the internal liquid bubbling up. You could always just use a tissue to dab those out, or a paper towel, I should say. And if not, just let it cool and they should subside. Beautiful. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get future updates to this channel as we release new videos. It helps us a lot.